and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a shoe review of some new rock boots and it will be about these amazing spring ones. So if you like these types of videos please consider subscribing. I am planning on doing kind of a mini series of these new rock reviews so if you are interested then that will be coming in the future maybe and I will get into the video now. So as I said these are the boots that I am going to be reviewing today these are the they have a funny name with like lots of numbers so these are called the m.373s2 spring boots they are also called like the space neptuno boots i believe these are i think my oldest pair of new rocks yeah and these are i think around five years old now and for five years they are looking in quite good condition and I have worn them a lot. I have seen lots of people asking about platform boots and I thought as I do own them and a few other pairs that I would do kind of a review because I bought them a long time ago and I hadn't started my channel and reviews anyway are a lot more helpful than hauls. I will be going through as much as I can about these kind of comfortability, sizing, quality, pricing just kind of everything about them so if you are interested in these boots then hopefully this will be helpful for you to start with this was the box they came in it is quite dusty now because it sits under my bed but i did notice in emily boo's video that when she took these out the box they had the wrong sticker on i think that's a common thing for these boots i'm not sure why but mine also had that problem and they do have the kind of reactor sole rather than the spring sole. But the name of it is right and everything. It's just, I'm not sure why, but it's there. And I did order these in a size 4, which is a Euro 37. That's what the box looks like. Mine also did arrive with the normal standard New Rock tissue paper inside and also these sponges in the boots to kind of help them keep their shape and stop them moving around in the box which was helpful and I still keep those inside of them when I put them away. And these are the boots themselves. So I bought these from eBay as I said around five years ago now and these cost me £160 which is a lot cheaper than what they're priced at today. <laughs> when I wear these in Outfit of the Days, or I mention these in a video, I do like to link them. And when I have tried to find links, especially for my shoe collection video, the cheapest I could find these for was around £250 without delivery, which is £100 more than what I paid. But I did have a look the other day, and I found them for and. 90 I believe which is still a lot of money don't get me wrong but it is better than 250 or more if you are after these boots I would definitely recommend eBay or shopping around and when I say eBay I don't just mean like the second hand eBay you can also buy them new which is what I did but they were just cheaper so yeah I definitely recommend shopping around for these don't just settle on 250 to 300 pounds for these because I'm sure you could maybe find them cheaper so that's the first thing. I will go through the main features of this shoe now. So this is obviously the standout part of this shoe and this is the platform. I did pick the ones with the springs in because I thought they were just so cool. <laughs> From the website, it does say that the actual platform size is six centimeters so that will be kind of this bit the more narrow part and this bit here is 9.5 centimeters so it is definitely a big platform and i will get into the comfortability about that in a minute so quite a big platform definitely a standout pair of shoes when you walk they they do kind of make you look amazing <laughs> and they do have three of these giant metal springs in and you can see through this part and that's the case for all three and then on the back of them it does have this solid metal skull new rock logo which i love right there and then at the front it kind of has a the same thing but not metal it's kind of a 
stamp effect I'd say okay so that's kind of the sole of it and the bottom of it it is a non-slip sole which is very helpful and it does just say the new rock website made in spain and like a mini new rock logo down there so that's what the sole looks like it is a bit different to the reactor soles i have just done an unboxing for these amazing new rock boots and this is this isn't the reactor sole but it's kind of what the underneath part of it looks like usually it has like metal and stuff but this is kind of what the standard reactor sole looks like compared to the spring sole. So they are a bit different. Both of them are non-slip, but I guess, I don't know, these are just a bit different. And I have also worn these in the snow and they do an incredible job. So definitely, definitely a non-slip sole. Going up now, they kind of have a standard toe area. It is just round. And the material I got these in is leather. If you haven't watched many of my videos, you won't know, but I do tend to prefer leather shoes rather than vegan leather shoes. They do last a lot longer and they kind of move with your feet and adapt to your feet, which is why they last such a long time. So these are the leather version. If you do prefer vegan leather shoes, you can get this particular style in vegan leather, but they are kind of still the same price. Going kind of up now they do have four buckles along this side and as i've mentioned in all of my new rock videos they do like to put the logo on everything which can annoy people but i kind of like it it shows that they've gone to the extra detail and made the effort to make everything themselves rather than just buying buckles or buying like studs or something it does show that everything is made by them and is handmade which i think it shows a lot of commitment to a pair of shoes and if you are paying a lot of money then i'd want to see that as you can see all the buckles have new rock written on the side of them and all of these kind of stud things that connect the laces this is also a new rock stamp so they have that as well. They have kind of this padded front bit and then they have the lacing that kind of crosses over and then you can tie it. You can adjust this, but the lace also does go through the sole here. So it kind of comes from there and then you can lace it up. But this isn't really how you take them off and on and it's not really how you adjust them either. It is kind of more of a decoration piece rather than anything you can pull these buckles so there are quite a few options i've got them on i think the tightest setting for these but you can make them looser which gives quite a bit of flexibility if you have wider calves then you can fit them around them and also they have a side zip here which does kind of go diagonally which i really like the effect of it looks really cool you'd put them on tie them up, adjust the buckles, and then you just zip them on and off. So although they are quite a intricate, detailed pair of shoes, they are so easy to get on and off because of the zip. They have this standout logo. Again, it has like a world on. It says New Rock Boots and Shoes. And from afar is kind of the main thing. Like if I see someone in the street and I see the logo, I'm like, oh, it's New Rock. It's like the main standout it's new rock kind of thing so they do kind of look like that when you're walking and again they just make you feel amazing <laughs> the back of it is just kind of plain it has the black leather with all these stitched details there's no errors with the stitching obviously they are stitched all around here if you can see that they aren't just glued they have gone to the effort of stitching all of this so the platform isn't going to come off from the shoe that just carries on around here there is stitching up here and also this new rock kind of stamp that has been stamped into the leather that is another reason that i do like new rock because their platforms have been stitched they haven't just been like cheaply glued or anything and i think that's quite an important thing to consider when you are buying platforms because you're walking at quite a height and with 
platform shoes like it, you don't want to fall over really <laughs> if you've got a pair of shoes and you know that there could be a chance that the platform might fall off like there's a chance you could fall over and you could like hurt yourself basically i really do like new rock because i know that the quality is there i have looked at other pairs of like demonias and stuff and i really love their designs like i really do but it i just can't get past the quality issue and like i see people's videos with their soles hanging off the shoes and i'm like no <laughs> so that's another thing to consider when you're looking for platforms basically i will also say this sole from the bottom as you can see it does look quite wide and these shoes i wouldn't say fit widely <laughs> when you walk it is so sturdy you feel so secure even though you're at such a height like when you're walking up steps when you're even running i mean they're not the best shoes to run in but if i've had to run i don't feel like i'm gonna fall over or like stumble sideways and that is due to the width of the sole here so you do have like a good kind of base even though you're at height i have in the past had iron fist shoes they've been kind of platformed and then had a heel they were the batwing shoes and i just remember because they were cheaply made basically and the sole of them was this foam and like stones had been indented into i just no <laughs> but the main reason i ended up selling them on was like the platform was so narrow and like the width across here it was probably about this wide and whenever i took a step i like my foot wobbled and it didn't feel secure on the ground and i just felt like i was going to fall out it was just horrible so i definitely can tell a difference with these i don't feel like that at all that's the main features of the outside of the shoe the inside of the shoe is just kind of more leather so that's what it looks like inside and then it does have the new rock sole there like the inner bit which is very squishy and another thing about this shoe is i did talk about this kind of tongue part here but when i say it's padded it is very padded like this bit is super thick it's like it's been stuffed with some kind of thermal thing but the quality of these shoes is incredible and these are such good like obviously i don't wear them in the summer because they're quite hot but in the winter they will keep your feet so warm mainly due to this and you can also wear thicker socks with them i will talk a bit about sizing now i have touched on this in other videos but i kind of differ with the new rock sizing and i think it is mainly due to the different soles so where this sole is a bit wider i feel like it pushes the size up a little bit i mean i wear two pairs of socks like a pair of ankle socks and like a pair of winter socks but not like super thick and they fit me really well and i like how you can adjust them around the leg because that helps them stay on a bit better so i think if i would have got these in a size three they would have been a bit too tight so i do think i chose the right decision to pick my standard size of a uk4 which is the euro 37 i also do have that size for the patent shoes that i will leave a link to in the eye and in the description because i did do a unboxing of those and i also got that size in the metal heeled shoes that i might do a video on in the future the only thing that got a bit messed up was another pair of boots that i got with kind of a metal heel and they are way too tight around kind of the bit around your foot and kind of this middle bit across here and they were a size three so i definitely say stick with your standard size it's always better to have them a bit bigger so you can wear two pairs of socks or put insoles in them but to have them too tight is just uncomfortable so i definitely pick the bigger side if you are a bit unsure moving on to comfortability these are 
by far the most comfortable pair of shoes I own. I literally wore them today and I walked around all day in these. The thing is, you are walking on metal springs. I mean, you don't bounce in them, but they are a little bit springy when you walk. And I think that does definitely add to the comfortability of them. These are definitely the shoes that I pick if I'm going on a trip to London and I'm gonna be out for like all day, and a bit of the night and stuff these are the shoes i always pick because i know that i'm not going to have any problems with them i have had a bit of rubbing in the past with the patent ones i haven't ever had blisters with these shoes i've never had any issues with that no rubbing but yeah so i definitely say they are very very comfortable like you wouldn't feel you're walking on platforms like when i've gone for london trips as i've just talked about because I'll get the train there and then I might spend the day and then maybe see something in the evening or do something like that. So I'm out all day and I'm sat on the train back and if I'm with friends or with family they're all like oh my feet hurt and I'm just like I could keep going because <laughs> like my shoes are so comfortable. I don't ever feel like oh my gosh I need to sit down. So I can't recommend these enough for comfortability. They are super comfortable despite the springs and how they look. They are very, very comfortable. In regards to kind of wear, I, as I said, I've had these for five years. The only things that have kind of worn a little bit are the bits of leather here, where I think I've kind of whacked them. <laughs> and also kind of part of the sole, you can see, I think that's mainly due to my walking. I didn't realize I hit my heels together but they have kind of scuffed a bit here. But apart from that, for five years and for the amount of times I have worn them, like it doesn't look like I've worn them much, but I really have. They're doing incredibly well. New York are a brand where they could easily last you 10 years, but I feel like these shoes could probably last me my whole life. I mean, my feet aren't gonna grow. <laughs> I do really recommend these boots if you are looking at them. As I said, try and find them maybe a bit cheaper on eBay or something and also, People do sell them on where they've maybe worn them a few times and thought, okay, I'm not wearing them enough. So there is also that option too. I don't feel like I need to talk about quality again. I think you already understand my viewpoint of quality. They are of a very high quality as they are kind of handmade in Spain and you know, all of that. get anything and I hope that this was helpful if you are maybe considering this style in particular or maybe just new rock in general they are a very high quality pair of shoes and they will kind of last you a really long time if you do look after them I hope that this was helpful and if you did enjoy it please give it a like and comment down below if you're thinking about getting these or maybe you have them or you're a fan of new rock <laughs> As I said at the beginning, consider subscribing if you like these types of videos and would like to see a mini New Rock series. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!